Woohoo! It's Friday, folks. What's going on? Oregon Motorcycle. It's Friday. It's a wonderful day. This is my commute home. In today's video, we're going to talk about my long road trip that I'm planning on my CB500X. All right, folks, thanks for tuning in to another awesome episode of Oregon Motorcycle. A lot of traffic out today. It's Friday, but we're taking the side roads home. So I hope all is well with you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. Anyways, I wanted to make this video today to talk to you guys about my future trip I got coming up. So I know some of you guys know uh, I'm getting married. Don't do it. In less than a month now, it's less than 30 days. Today is the 22nd, I believe. And I'm getting married on uh, the 20th of next month. So it's gonna be very exciting. We got a lot of cool stuff planned. For our honeymoon, we're gonna be taking off on our matching CB500Xs. We're gonna be going uh, east. <laughs> so and we don't have much of it planned out. So might be asking for some, not really advice, but if you guys have ridden out in this area before, we've already talked to us a few other people um, that have ridden out in this area before, and we've already got our first night planned of where we're stopping and it's going to be in oregon but i forget the name i'll post the name right down below but it looks pretty awesome we're going to spend our first night there around there and then um i think what the plan is from there is to head into boise and maybe spend a day in boise but again i'm not 100 percent we may or may not make it into montana we haven't really got the whole trip planned so uh we have we're going to have about I know five or six days of travel um, so it's not like that much time but uh, we're gonna leave out Monday and uh, you know I like to be back at no later than Saturday because I need a day to unpack and recoup and all that good stuff <laughs> so something like that but but yeah it's gonna be an awesome trip so um, very very excited about it I'm gonna be using my budget luggage that you guys have seen in some of my other videos um, and I don't know exactly how I'm going to outfit it. I also have this horseshoe luggage type thing. That's kind of like a giant loot bag. So I'm going to look into that. Oh, I'm probably going to use that. So here comes some traffic we can go through. <laughs> so this Telaria works pretty good for this kind of stuff. Because I can, I don't know, I guess treat it like a bicycle. Uh, speaking of my Telaria, I'm going to be riding it tonight in Portland on the E-Ride. And maybe I'll make a video tonight about that. I would like to because I need to test out my new batteries. I got some new GoPro batteries coming. Uh, for my five because they are well not only are they super old but they're starting to swell and they have swollen up so much that um, I can barely pull them out of the camera and pull them out of the charger so it's a trip they're really puffy so I ordered three more new ones and I'm probably gonna order some more batteries for my 360 here and some more memory cards before this trip I'm talking about so if you guys had five or six days to go east from Portland and head out towards Idaho, that kind of thing, Boise. Um, I have like, you know, like two things I really would love, love to see. And that is permanent ruts or slash tracks of the Oregon Trail sometime on this trip and maybe some wild horses. And um, I know there's some wild horses in Idaho. There's also some wild horses in Montana and other neighboring uh, states. Hell, there might even be some in Oregon, I don't know. But uh, if you guys know, post down below. But yeah, like I was saying, if you guys had five or six days to take off on your motorcycle and head east, where where would you be going? You know, what would you be doing? What would be some of your goals or some of your plans? I would like to know. Maybe it would spark some interest. And so I could uh, maybe incorporate that into our trip that we're taking in August. So uh, it's gonna be totally awesome. Totally awesome. So yeah, tonight the E-Ride, I gotta get home and put my battery back on charge and then uh, I'm gonna swap out my rear sprocket. I got my commuter sprocket on right now, which is the 44 tooth. And I'm gonna go back home and I'm gonna put my 48 tooth on. And, uh, oh, this Jeep is pulling on me. I'm going uphill, got a headwind. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I put my, my uh, 48 tooth back on so I can bust some dank neuters and show off in front of everybody. Woo! But uh, <laughs> yeah, anyways, anyways, go Jeep, go go jeep go um i'm creeping up on the 10,000 subscriber mark which that's kind of a big deal to me uh it'll be a big deal when i hit that um so if you guys are not subscribed yet make sure to hit that subscribe button help me out help a brother out 
I'm trying to get to that. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers, but that's a long way off, especially the, especially lately, man. I've been losing momentum. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, it's weird. The Telario videos are weird um, because they're just slow burners. It's I think because it's a new product and a lot of people really don't know about it. But I've been going back and look at some, looking at some of the views on my older Telario videos, and they got decent views. It just took them three weeks to get views. Typically, my other videos, my motorcycle videos, they get all the views in the first 24 hours, and then they just sit there for the rest of their lives. <laughs> it's interesting. The Telario videos are definitely interesting. I'm gonna keep pounding them out. I got a bunch of them already, because like I said, I'm totally digging this bike, and I like it a lot, and I'm gonna have a lot more fun on it. So, so there you go. We'll see you on the next video, guys. Until next time, Oregon Motorcycle.